Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at modelling a wine bottle inside of Maya. So we're going to hit space and click in the middle and go to front view, go to view, image plane and import image. And then on my desktop I've got all my reference files. Scroll through until we find the one we want. There we go. I'm going to hit R to scale and bring it up nice and big. And then we'll grab a cylinder. And then what I'd like to do is add scale and make it as wide as the biggest part. Then let's turn X-ray on. Right click over vertex and move up to about there. And we'll drag this down to about there. Okay, so now what we're going to start to do is using multi-cut. Hold our control and middle mouse button to go in the middle and just start adding some edge loops. Hit R, edge mode, double click, and then just scale in. I'm going to get the overall shape first. Before we start getting the actual details in, but they're not great amount of detail in the wine bottle which is quite good and then when we got more of an extreme curve we need to add in a few more edge loops just so we've got more to play with hit the to check how it's looking quite happy with that I might even need another one in here Okay. Down the edge here, what we're probably going to do is control B to bevel, add a segment like that. And then what we probably want to do, first of all, is let's grab <coughs> that, move out of the way, excuse me. We want to make to look like it's going up a little bit so let's go to vertex grab that and go up a little bit something like that and we come up to the top let's just grab these faces here There we go. Then let's just add in these little bumps here. So let's hold our control, get an edge mode, double click, and then control B to bevel. Make that a little bit smaller. Go to face mode, double click, and then control E to extrude. Give it a bit of thickness like that. do is let's double click the edges, control B to bevel, and the supporting lines, we might want to do A bit more, so it's a bit more rounded. How's that look? Mm. Looks better without it. There we go. And then let's just add a little bit of thickness to it. So control E to extrude. And then just grab these edges here, control B to bevel. And 
and then we put our bottle. So nice easy one to do. In fact, I'm just going to go back a second. I'm going to try and see which one works better. So let's go back before. Okay, so before we build those edges, let's add some thickness first. Let's add some thickness like that. Now let's add the supporting lines. So bottle done. Um, we will add a label, but we'll do that when we are texturing it anyway. So let's just quickly unwrap that. So let's go to UV and delete UVs. Then let's go to UV editor. Make it smaller. Drag it over here. I'm going to go to create and camera based. And then let's grab a couple of edges. Shift, right click, go to cut and fold. And then we've got our bottle wrapped right, nice and easily. So, what we're going to do is quickly UV shell, fact it all, right click, go to modify and layout. Let's just turn on our checker marker. So, we see we've got no distortion anywhere. So in two previous videos, we have done a corkscrew and a wine glass. So what we'll do is we're going to take this over some, uh, to Mama Set properly and texture it. And then what we'll also do is a little video on bringing them all together in one scene as well. Okay, so now that we're in Mama Set, we're going to bring in our model by clicking on this button here. Let's grab our wine bottle. And then we're going to want to bake it. So we're going to click on this button there. Drag our wine bottle into low poly. And then... Click on Bake Project, and we're just going to select where we want it to go. So we're going to want this wine bottle, and we're just going to call this wine bottle, and we'll change that to PNG. Hit Save. Let's change that to 16. Multiple texture sets, and we'll just leave that there. And then with our maps, we're probably going to want... This one's there, and then we're just going to hit bake. And then we're going to jump over to texture. First, let's just add in our glass material. So we'll go to library and we'll get like plastic, glossy, and bring this in. And I'm going to change that color like dark red dark green rather sort of thing something like that and we'll have transparency so we're going to come to project maps let's add in transparency and then 
roughness at zero, mutterness all the way up, and then transparency, bring it a little bit like that. So we've got this dark green sort of glass. And then what we want to do is add our label as well. So let's add a paint layer. What we want to do, albedo, let's click on here and grab our wine label there. And then we're going to change this to fit to brush. Make it bigger so you see what's going to start to happen. That's going to start to appear like that. There we go, tool settings. Let's also grab that as well. We want to rotate it. Let's make it a bit smaller. Because it's starting to look about right, but not just. So we're getting there. Let's turn hardness all the way up. Again, I just keep like, I like to keep clicking and just checking things looking okay. Let's turn transparency off. Let's then to contrast all the way up and then bump because then that'll make it look like it's a bit more 3D and sticking out slowly getting there just playing around with settings so we know how it's going to look. We turn fall off off. Okay, so we've got that looking about right. Let's just angle a bit more. Away. Okay, nearly there. Okay, I'd say that height is there. We just need to get rid of this. Bit here, so let's have a look. Let's Oop. okay, so that's got rid of that. I think we probably don't want, let's see. Roughness, let's turn that up a little bit, make it a bit more like a label. Let's see. Okay, that's looking better. Cool, so just a little trial and error to pick out the best settings for how you want your sticker to be, your label to be rather. Right, maybe that is a little bit off still. Let's do like. There you go, that looks better, I think. Have well, I gone too far the other way?
Yeah, I think that probably is about right. Okay, so let's just have a little look. So it's looking better now. So let's just see if there's anything else we want to play around with. That won't do anything anyway. Right, let's. Put that bump all the way up and see what happens. That's okay. Something like that. Let's have a look and see how we're looking in render. Let's set up sky and let's try like a three point. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then let's just go back to texture a second. Got some fingerprints on there. That looks better and we add to our paint layer let's do like that mask and see if this works Looks quite nice. Let's
just for a second. Did not mean to put that there. Bring that out. Okay, that's better. That gives it a bit more break up. Let's a couple more little things to do. Appeal. Let's see how that looks. Mm. Should another layer. Big old man, that's not good. Yeah, sounds good. Like that. Right, let's get it render. We'll stop there, otherwise we're going to go crazy. Okay. So that is texturing our wine bottle. Hopefully you found that helpful and interesting. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or email me at design with Simon at outlook.com.